Hi, and welcome back to Making Retirement Possible, a guide to getting on track to your financial independence. My name is Richie, and today we're going to be discussing retirement and life expectancy. More often than not, in retirement planning, we look at nothing more than the financial aspect. But to get a good picture of our retirement timeline, we have to look at our own mortality as well. So let's get right into the data. In February of 2021, the CDC issued a revised life expectancy report with their vital statistics system data. And what they found was in 2020, there was a drop in the average age by one year. And this was no doubt due to the COVID-19 virus. So for discussion purposes, we're gonna use these numbers. So for charting this data, we're gonna make some assumptions. And our first assumption is that our subject began working at the age of 20 years old. Next, this person will only live to be 78.8 years old. And finally, our last assumption is his retirement age will coincide with the social security tiers of 62, 67, and 70. And this way we can chart all three for comparison. This first graphic shows if our test subject retired early at age 62. And what we can see is that from the age 20 on to the duration of his life, 53% of his life was spent working and 21% was left over for his golden years or 16.8 years total. This is not too bad. This leaves him some time to do some traveling, spend time with the grandkids, enjoy hobbies and such. It's not a bad setup and I think just about anybody would be happy with it. Next, let's look at if our subject retired at the mid-level of Social Security, which is 67 years old. As you can see, he lost some years now. He's going to be working longer and he's going to have less retired years. Now he's only got 11.8 years. And now let's look if our test subject retired at full retirement age of 70. As you can see, he gave three of his retirement years back to the workforce and he's only got a total of 8.8 years retired or 11%. Now one has to wonder what his health would be like in those last eight years and if he would be able to enjoy the things he'd like to. This is the cruelty of social security. They dangle the high paying years towards the end and many people simply don't make it that far and end up working their entire lives. So looking at these numbers side by side, you can see the contrast and hopefully you can look at these numbers and see where you want to fit in or make changes where you need to. Unfortunately, there's some things in life we just can't control and how long we live is one of them. Now, some things we can do that will help extend our life are very simple. Go to our doctors, have our annual checkups, eating healthy and weeding out the bad foods that we know we're not supposed to have. And then there's exercising. And if we follow up and do this both before and during retirement, we can extend our lives and push back those golden years. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you could like and subscribe. Thank you.